Hello everyone, we're Moss Charmley. Today we're going to show you three ways to use screen tones in Krita. Mm -hmm. So Krita comes with three screen tone presets and you can find them in the brush presets uh, drop down menu under texture brush yeah. presets right here. So All the way down where textures text are. <laughs> here we go. And these are the three that Krita has. So it's screen tone moir, screen tone pressure, and screen tones regular. They have different effects that they can show you, but uh, basically Screen Tone Noir is more like a cross-hatching style type of brush, you know, so it kind of just creates a unique pattern. Yeah. So yeah, That's kind of if you want to use it, good for you. There you go. It's cool. Yeah. Screen Tone Pressure is just that. It uses the pressure of your stylus to increase or decrease the size of the screen tone. So the harder you press, the larger the circle is or the pattern is, and the lighter you press, the smaller it is. It also uh, makes it so that it's a li little more transparent. So yeah, it's got a lot more, you know, it's it's fun, it's good, you can use it. <laughs> it's got a lot of good quality to it. It's got a lot of qualities. And then we have the Screen Tones regular, one, and mm -hmm. this one's good too. This, this has uh, just a single sort of size. Yeah. So this is kind of, it doesn't really change. Mm -hmm. And if you do overlap, you do create different patterns yeah, on itself. So it that's does. one thing. This is what we were trying to figure out. Um, when you are using a screen tone, you you know you'll lay it down, and it's basically you'd really assume that you'd go down to the brush sizes right here, <laughs> yeah, and select a larger brush and assume that it would actually make the pattern larger. It doesn't. That just makes the tip of your brush larger. So it's either a smaller tip or a larger tip. But if you would like the pattern to be larger, then what you have to do is alter the brush. Yeah, so we're going to mm -hmm. show you how uh, you can change that fixed size of the screen tones in Krita. Mm -hmm. So to start that, to change the size of those little dots, mm -hmm. we're going to go in uh, up in here, right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the little uh, brush, brush editor. editor exactly. And um, this is really neat. So you'll go all the way down to this menu and all the way down, you'll see pattern. And we're already on it right now. Already. So, <laughs> and it has uh, two tabs here, which is texture and options. But right now. It's usually already on texture. Though. Yeah. So we'll when, show you if texture. If you open it up, you'll see a bunch of the textures that it already has. Yeah. And you can change it if range. you want. And, and there's a lot of them. So, yeah. Pretty cool. They yeah. give you a lot of options for texture. But in order to change the size of the pattern itself, this is where the magic happens. Yeah. So in options, <laughs> yeah. in the options tab, uh, in scale, yeah. you'll you'll move this bar around, and this will change the size as well as this little drop down menu thing yeah. here too. It's like fast settings. So yeah. If you just want to one x, two x, ten x, whatever you'd like. But so we're yeah. gonna show it on the side with a sketch pad of mm -hmm. what the brush currently is, mm -hmm. and then we're going to change it here to make it. So you want to make it a little smaller. Exactly. See how it changes. See it changed there it. We go. Super cool. See if we want to make it huge. It's and it huge. changes <laughs> huge. There you go. So this is how you can change the actual pattern of your um, screen tone. So we would actually recommend not going below like 21 really um, because it actually changes the way the pattern looks, you know, when you put it down. So, you know, stick to like maybe 24, 25. It kind of looks good that way. Yeah, um, let's yeah. Sit, uh, we'll make one a brush that's twenty five. Yeah, so we we're gonna point twenty five. Point twenty five. So check it out on mm -hmm. the side here. We were using the screen tone regular brush, you know, to, to edit this. Edit this. Yeah. But if you want to create this and save this as a brush you're gonna use, you're gonna have to save it as a new brush preset. Yeah. But the first thing you need to make sure you're not, you know, you have is that the temporary save tweaks to presets is unchecked. Make sure that doesn't have a check mark next to it. And then you want to go all the way up to the top right and press save new brush preset. And this will save that brush as what you just altered. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to change this up to uh, from uh, uh, the, the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to change the name of it. And we like to uh, change the name of it with the uh, the, with size the, number, the size number. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's just easier to rem you know remember. We're gonna call it. It was twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, Screen yeah. tone's twenty five. Yeah. And change the thumbnail too. Which yeah. Would be fun. So we're gonna do that by going to load from icon library, mm -hmm. 
And this gives you all those fun choices mm -hmm. to load from the icon library. So all the way down at the bottom, mm -hmm. you'll see a little uh, thing where you can show that it's a pattern brush. Yeah. And then we'll press OK. And then we can draw in the new screen tone we made. As your example, so yeah. you kind of know what you're using when you look at the brush. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. And, and you press save. Save, and you got a and new brush. Is, right? Exactly. Now, sometimes it doesn't get put in your screen tones, but if you actually type the word in screen tone, or screen even, in the little search one, it'll actually pull up all the screen tones that are there. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but we can't really find it right now. <laughs> so, screen tones. Oh, that was 53. What? Go into all. If you go into all, all, you'll find it a lot easier. Yeah, so screen tones. Boom, there we go. We have a few of them, but we created yeah, screen we, tone we 25. Created... So yeah, ah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, pretty okay. cool. So yeah, and then you can use the new screen tone you made. Mm -hmm. Super awesome. If we can actually show you, if, uh, I'll turn this layer off down in layers, and then mm -hmm. we'll actually turn this layer on. So now you can actually use it and see what it would look like. If it's the right size, it's kind of fun. Yeah, you know? we'd like to change the size of the brush. Yeah, yeah give you a lot Maybe more area to work with for sure. Super neat though. Yeah. You know, and it's useful. So, yeah, yeah. It, these are, these are really great and mm -hmm. they just sort of add more fun to it. So, they're really mm -hmm. fun to play with and we really recommend that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, just fool around with it. Find the size that you like for your screen tones, but make sure when you're creating it, make sure you're using the screen tone regular preset brush that Krita comes with so you don't have the pressure situation of altering for you. Yeah. Now, we're going to show you the second way of how to create your own screen tones with your own pattern, right? Yes. This is how we're going to like take the pattern, you know, the photo. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so right. you're going to make your own original screen tone. So we're mm -hmm. going to go right back to that brush editor on the top right here. I'm going to click that. Mm -hmm. Or you can press F5 too, which is the hotkey for it. Um, so here you are back on that menu. Mm -hmm. Of the one we created. Yeah, right? of the one we so, created. Yeah. We definitely suggest changing the scale up to 40. Yeah just to sort of like keep it at a, like sort just of its see. neutral position. So, yeah. so, and then we're gonna go into texture. Mm -hmm. So this is again, where you get to scroll down the menu and you get to see a lot of cool textures. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna upload one mm -hmm. uh, by this button right here. Yeah. Clicking mm -hmm. that. And we already made our texture references folder and had some we were experimenting with. So we're gonna click on this one, steel mm -hmm. plate and press open. Oh. This resource file already exists. So yeah, we already, we already, already installed it. We already that. installed it, but, yeah. but we're going to show you that's all you really have to do to, to pop it in, and it will it will show up in yeah. in, in here, so it's, under you textures. You just got to find it. It's usually like alphabetical or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And if you notice, it's in color. Yeah. So that's really kind of cool. But when you turn it into a pattern or use it as a pattern, it will turn it in, into a monochromatic image yeah so yeah so we're going to show you on the side with the sketch pad right here mm -hmm. so to whopper and it makes it and so it's so, so it's cool really cool it's really big and you can right here you can change the size so if you want to make it smaller mm -hmm. you can make it smaller and even smaller than even that smaller so some Very you can cool. really make much yeah. smaller. You can make and, it real small. And it really adds. Yeah, so it doesn't that's have cool. that weird artifact thing. That yeah. happens with some of the patterns. Yeah, some of the so patterns yeah. look good in different sizes. Mm -hmm. You can bring it pretty far down too, you know. So you can actually like bring it down to like a 10, you know. And it's still, see how it can actually be used like that. That's yeah. so neat. So I like that one. Kind of cool. I know, I like it too. If you want to actually save this, you have to save it as a different brush. Yes. That's why we use the other brush that we created. So, so. again, go into Save New Brush Preset mm -hmm. on that top part. Exactly. And we're going to rename this to Screen Tone Steel Plate. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And we're going to alter the icon so we know what, what so we're go going to, to be using, right? Yeah, load we'll from go Icon all Library. The way and go down. All the way down. Sorry for the fast movements. <laughs> and then we're going to select this one, right? Yeah. There we go. And there's nothing there, but I'm going to press OK. And that's when we're going to put it in, right? Yeah. So then we draw it in. Look at that. Look at that's that. That's so cool. That is cool. I like that. I like that's that really one neat. a lot, actually. There and then go. just press, press save. save. Boom. Boom. So and there, it'll be there. There you go. You have it. It's going to be in there 
way down. There, there it go. is. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> so now you can use the new one you made. Yeah, exactly. Put that wherever you wherever like you it. want. Yeah. If it happens to be the size you like. Yeah. I mean, this would be great for even patterns of things, you know. Yeah. For like backgrounds and stuff. Like you could really do a lot with like the tree textures and ground and sand. Yeah. Different real elements. You need to go on a walk and go look for textures. You photograph it and you're good to go. So yeah. I agree. Um, it's fun the, to do. Yeah. We have one final way to use screen tones, Ah, uh, right? yes. This we, is going to be using um, the fill selection, right? Yeah, so now we're going to show you how to fill with screen tone using the selection tool. There we go. So we're on a, a new layer. Mm -hmm. We created this called fill pattern. To show you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> um, so we're going to go to, we're going to go to this button right here, mm -hmm. it's like the selection, selection tool. It looks like a little bean. <laughs> it does. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just select a piece. Yeah. The area in which you'd like a screen tone to be. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like how you would do it in, you know, analog or practical, you know, where you'd actually have to cut out the screen tone and rub it on yeah. you know, the paper. It's pretty cool. It so, is. But I mean, it's, it's sort of that same premise, really. So now that you filled in that, mm -hmm. uh, that bit right there. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you're using the uh, a brush tool now yeah. because it's weird. You like have to make sure that the brush tool is selected in order for a pattern Which is right here. to be you know, <laughs> inputted into the area that you've selected. And then up here you want to make sure you're, this is where you choose a pattern. So mm -hmm. this is sort of the pattern pattern brushes Yeah. in here too. So, uh, so there's a lot of choices here as mm -hmm. you can see. Yeah. Uh, we selected one already. Yeah, we already did. Yeah. We already got one going. Mm -hmm. So we'll use what we've got. It's this one up here. It's the yeah. name. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to go into uh, edit. And then we're going to go all the way down to fill with pattern. And we're going to press that. Yeah. And you'll see it. You'll, you'll think, oh, no, I, I just ruined this. What do I do? Yeah. But then um, it's just opaque. It's, it's opaque. So yeah. to change that, mm -hmm. you want to go down to your layer. I can find the, there it is. There it is. <laughs> you go down to your layers and your fill layers, okay? Make sure that one is selected that you are actually using. Um, and in layers, uh, blending property, you're going to want to turn it to subtract. Now, you notice that it actually becomes opaque, which is the whole point. But nice. <laughs> if you don't know or you can't see subtract, you can find it in the arithmetic drop-down menu. Just, you know, tick that. Uh, this uh, check mark and it'll become part of your favorites. So yeah. So you can select so it at a later time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? So there you go. Um, also, if it's too dark for you, if you don't like, you know, its value, you can always just adjust its opacity. So you can, you know, keep it at a 50% if you like that. It's really neat, you know. And then you can deselect it. You know, because sometimes there's like stuff that it gets all funky and, you know, you want to actually like erase stuff and customize it. Yeah, and stuff so like to that. edit it more, yeah. you can uh, click on the eraser and you can soften it up. Yeah, you can soften the edge. Soften the edges. Exactly. So that sort of alters it. Yeah. It gives it a little bit more, you know, softness, smoothness sometimes. Yeah. It's kind of neat. And it gives you character. So, and if you don't like that look, if you don't like that, then hey, you know, you just clean up where you really don't want it and so on and so forth. So. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Just make sure that you've got that layer set up, you know, as a subtraction, you know, blending mode, and it'll work out. Now, there are actually some of these that are, auto, you know, oh, the some patterns. patterns. Some of the patterns yeah. up top here. Yeah. Are actually already set up with alpha channel, or they're, they're not opaque. They're actually, you know, transparent. So this is only a case where, you know, it would be... Yeah, yeah like for example, like this one mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wait, first, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's uh, let's give it an example, fill with pattern. Yeah, exactly. We can actually, we're going to um, take this layer and we'll clear it so that we can give, give a better example. So we'll clear the layer. So there we go. Okay, so we'll start gonna, with that bean. I'm going to turn this layer uh, property from subtraction to normal. Ah, uh, yeah. Just to show Just that. to show the... Where is it? There we go. Okay, so now we're back to normal. Awesome, so... So going Go back, for it. going Go back for it. to that bean tool on the side. Mm -hmm. Selection, yeah. <laughs> Click mm -hmm. or press, you know, just sort of draw around where you might want it, mm -hmm. where you want your screen there tone you to be, yeah. and then go up to the pattern brush, which mm -hmm. we already chose, yeah. so it's it's left on it. 
Also, when you want to fill it with a pattern, you have to make sure that you have selected ah, brush the brush tool. tool because it's like basically using the brush tool to fill that selection. So we kind of figured that one out the hard way. Yeah. So we're like, Why isn't it working? Well, it's because we didn't have the brush selected. True. <laughs> and then we go to edit and fill with pattern. There we go. No, oh, it's not there. It's didn't not do there, it. isn't it? That's weird. Are we having that so, moment again? Are we having the moment again? <laughs> we might be. Something's happening. Maybe we have to put it on Maybe. subtraction. Is nope. the opacity no. down too low for oh, it? Oh, the opacity. I forgot to put the opacity back up. That's the reason. Maybe. Maybe. Let's find out. Should we try again? <laughs> yeah. Edit. Mm -hmm. Fill with. Fill with pattern. Boom. Nope. No. Oh, you know why? why? This is also another thing. The brush cannot be on an eraser. Remember how we oh! had the eraser? It was, it was on the eraser. We had the same <laughs> problem before. So if you go like this is say digital, put it on a brush Any that's brush going that to has actually, something yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, see? So okay. So see then, how this can be tricky? Yeah. And we've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> and, and we still mess up all the time. So yeah, we hope this actually helps. Learn from others' mistakes. That's, yes. That's the point. <laughs> So, anyways, once you figure it out, just like us. <laughs> yes. And then fill pattern. Boom. Yes. There it is. See, it does work. Yeah, we, we often have uh, yeah. trouble. <laughs> yeah. But it works. Yes. That's just the example of the fact that some of those patterns, it can be confusing. You yeah, know, that's some a of those perfect patterns example of that. won't some, be opaque. Yeah, they're not going to be opaque. And you got to figure out which ones are and which ones aren't. So, it might yeah. take a little bit of, you know, fiddling around, but you'll get it just like we did. Yes. <laughs> During this tutorial video. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So. so we hope you get a lot out of this. Mm -hmm. And we hope you uh, might use screen tones. Yeah. Right? Explore that in Krita. I would. It's really cool. Krita is the program that doesn't get enough love, that's for sure. You know, I really, really I agree because it's, you know, it's an amazing, capable program for not just painting, not just, you know, illustration, but, I mean, we'll get to it, but, you know, you're going to be able to make manga and comics with this, so, and we'll show you how to do it. So there you go. Okay, yeah? Okay, that was it for our screen tone video. We, we hope you, you really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So, yep. must charm me out. out. <laughs> Have a great day arting, everybody, okay? Okay. Bye. <laughs>